A very good morning students. Today we will be doing Unit 5, Chapter 10, Rip Van Winkle. So today we will cover Part 2, the new words from the story. But first, do you remember the story? Who was Rip Van Winkle? Yes, Rip Van Winkle was a very good-natured man whom the neighbors and all the children, they used to love very much because he was very helpful. But he was very lazy too. One day he, when he went to the hills, he fell asleep. And when does he wake up? Yes, he wakes up after a long 20 years. So, let's begin the new words. First, foothills. Foothills is a noun meaning a low hill at the base of a mountain or mountain range. Example, the camp was at the foothills of the Andes. Andes is a mountain. Grizzled. Grizzled is an adjective meaning having gray hair. Example, with his grizzled beard, he looked like an extra from Treasure Island. Next, stroke. Stroke is a noun meaning illness or to suffer a stroke. Example, she died following a massive stroke. Next word, astonished is an adjective meaning greatly surprised or amazed. Example, we were astonished to find the temple was still in its original condition. Familiar is an adjective meaning well known from a long time or close association. Example, it was a relief to be back in the familiar surroundings. Next, marbles is a noun meaning a small colored glass balls. Example, the word kept on rolling in his mind like marbles. Village. Village is a noun meaning small town in a countryside example there are many pretty villages in india next wrinkled wrinkled is an adjective meaning cloth or skin that have small lines and folds in it example her wrinkled old face is so beautiful Next, idled away is a phrasal verb, meaning to spend time in a relaxed way doing nothing. Example, they idled their time in the pug. Next, constant. Constant is an adjective meaning happening regularly example there was a constant stream of visitors to the house next companion companion is a noun meaning someone with whom you spend most of your time a friend example his dog became his closest companion so, in the story, who was the companion of Rip Van Winkle? Yes, the dog named Wolf was his companion. 
Next, realize. Realize is a verb meaning to know and understand something. Example, suddenly he realized that the boy was crying. Next, descend. Descend is a verb meaning to move from a higher level to lower level. Example, they were in the lobby. I heard his footsteps descending the stairs. Barrel. Barrel is a noun meaning a large container of wood or storing wine. Example, the wine is aged in oak barrels. Next, content is a noun, meaning the amount of substance, food or drink. Example, the lime water in the jug is with low salt content. So, students, go through these new words. Now, let's revise the new words. 1. Foothills 2. Grizzled 3. Stroked 4. Astonished 5. Familiar 6. Marbles 7. Village 8. Wrinkled 9. Idled away 10. Constant 11th companion, 12th realize, 13th descend, 14th barrel and 15th content. Now students, we will do the exercise from the book. Take out your book, page 87. Fun with new words. Number 1. Circle the correct meaning. Of the given words, you may need to use the dictionary. So, we have already done few words, new words and now we will see again. First, idled away. There are three options. You have to find out the best out of it. First, idled away. Answer is wasted. Number two, constant. And the answer is Steady. Number three, companion. The answer is partner. Number four, realize. Answer is to understand. Next, descend. Answer to move down. Next, barrel. Yes, a wooden container. And the last, content. Yes, answer is the ingredients. So, all of you. In the book itself, put today's date and circle the answer. Next question. Match the words in the box with their meanings. You may take the help of a dictionary. So, the first one is near the lower part of a mountain. And the answer is foothills. Number two, with gray hair. Answer, grizzled. 3. To be surprised. Answer, sorry, third is to rub gently. And answer is stroked. Number fourth, to be very surprised. Answer is astonished. And number fifth, known to you. Answer is familiar. So, complete both question 1 and 2 in your book itself. Do neatly and put today's date. Today's activity students. Question 1 is learn and write the new words with their meaning. And when you write the meaning, write whether it is a noun, verb, adjective. That also you have to do. So do Learn the new words and write in your classwork notebook. Complete your work neatly. So students, be safe. Have a blessed and fruitful day. Thank you for today. Till the next class. Bye.